Hi guys, Sam here and I'm back with another video for Lawn Fun. Today I'm going to be making a card using the new Would You Be Mine, the Swan Soiree, Soiree <laughs> totally awesome stamp sets and their coordinating dies. Um, I started by stamping my images onto some Strathmore mixed media vellum surface paper and then I heat set it to make sure that the images wouldn't run, the, the black ink, which it didn't. <laughs> and when I use um, my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers, I always spray some water to the right of my craft mat and use a dry water brush to um, spread my color around. So you can see I'm just starting by using the base color and then I go in with a darker color and then a medium color and, well, for the tail, <laughs> I didn't do it. But for the little uh, beaver and uh, wood images, I, I do. <laughs> I start with the base color, use my water brush that is now damp to pull the color. Then for the inside of this tree, I'm using the same color, and you can see it just adds a little bit of shading. For the bark of this tree, I'm using a darker brown and a medium brown to pull that color out. And then the water brush that is very lightly damp to uh, blend it all together. And I'm just going to show you how I colored each of these images just one time because I color all the logs exactly the same and the beaver is colored exactly the same. And so are those little, I want to say, are they cattails? <laughs> I cannot think of what those fuzzy little uh, plants are. <laughs> <laughs> but they're always near lakes and things, <laughs> at least down here. Um, I'm just using some greens. Uh, I'm using three shades, but it's so small you do not have to. And then I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to figure out what colors to use for the tops because I know they're brown, but I don't want to use the same browns as the tree and the beaver. So I end up using an orangey brown, kind of like a burnt sienna. And... That's all the images. Here you can see everything is colored. I even added some white details with a gel pen and added some texture to those tops of those little plants. And the coloring was done. I mean, it was really simple. Uh, next, I am using the stitched hillside borders and the grassy border to die cut the backgrounds of my card. I cut it all out from 80 pound white card stock from Lawn Fawn. And now I am using some Distress Oxide inks to add the colors. I'm using Lucky Clover for the darkest part of my grass and Twisted Citron for the rest. I thought I was going to use Mowed Lawn and I did a tiny bit, but mostly it's Lucky Clover and Twisted Citron. And the really fun thing with Distress Oxide inks are it's so easy to blend. They're so forgiving and I love how smooth <laughs> it goes on. Now, don't get me wrong, I do love regular Distress inks just as much, but there's something about Oxide inks that just really are smooth and beautiful and quick. <laughs> Here I'm doing um, my four, four, three water edges, um, blueprint sketch for the darkest, then a mermaid lagoon, and then salvage patina at the top. And I'm just gonna do that for all three of my uh, little waves. I am trying to, when I was making this card, I wanted to have a lot of texture. So now that all the ink blending is coming to an end, you guessed it, I'm gonna be splattering. <laughs> so I'm just using all those same colors. Uh, Salvage Patina, I do also use Peacock Feathers, Mermaid Lagoon, and Blueprint Sketch. I sprayed some water and I'm using a paintbrush, just a one I use for everything. <laughs> and I'm splattering all of the colors all over all of the three water areas. <laughs> I uh, use, sometimes I keep the darker by the dark and the lighter by the light, but this time I wanted it everywhere. And it was, it's, you know, because of the distress oxide inks, the colors just they work so well together when they're splattered on and they look so good. So I did not do any splattering on the grass, just the water for the water texture and the bubbles. <laughs> Next, I'm going to um, heat emboss the sentiment from Would You Be Mine? And I die cut the banner from Fancy Wavy Banners and from Vellum. 
and I'm just going to heat emboss it in white and easy peasy. Would you be mine? <laughs> yes, I think I will. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, uh, next I'm just going to start assembling my card. And I had originally intended for there to be an interactive element in this card. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to use the, the kiss te technique, right? Keep it simple, Sam. <laughs> So this card has no interactive element, but it is adorable if I don't say so myself. Uh, I just attached um, all the layers together and cut off a little bit of the edges that overlapped or fell off the side. And now I'm going to assemble my scene. I'm using the Jumbo Lawn Fawn Tube Glue and using those little, I'm going to call them cattails. <laughs> Why do I think that's what they're called? I was sure that's what they were called until this very minute. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to attach those with some glue. And I'm going to use all these little uh, chopped down tree chunks <laughs> for a little dam in the middle of this river that this cute little beaver has made for his little his little buddy. And of course, the one with the heart has to be on top. He's still working on that one. <laughs> I'm also adding some of the plants behind the wood. And uh, since I already glued the wood down, I just have to lift it up a little bit and stick them down there. No big deal. And then I'm going to trim off everything that overlaps from the edges. And now I'm going to use my beavers and put them on the card. I did add foam tape to both of them. So there's a little bit of extra uh, texture or height there. And as usual, you know, I adhere all the things. So I put glue on top of my foam tape, attach it. And now I'm going to attach the banner with just two little tiny strips of glue in the folds of the banner and use an acrylic block to hold it down. Next, I'm just going to drop something on it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Next, I'm going to just fold my card base and attach it to some 110 pound white cardstock from Lawn Fawn. And that's the card. And I love how it came out. It is simple, but I do love all the texture and all the layers with the water. I These beavers are just so cute. <laughs> and I love the puns, of course. Thank you so much for joining me again today and be sure to check out this card on the Lawn Fawn blog. Have a great day, bye.